Thank you so much guys for 500 subscribers. It's been crazy. It's been four months since I started this channel and I'm already at 500 subscribers guys. Thank you so much. You guys are just amazing. You're, you're crazy. Thank you so much. But anyways guys, it's been a long way and I have a lot of demands of you guys just asking me to make some videos about some new subjects and this video is going to be one of the videos you guys wanted me to do. I'm going to open a new Discord server guys so so you guys can peacefully ask me for random videos or for videos you want me to do. Thank you for 500 subscribers, guys. It's amazing. Without further ado, let's go right into the video. Okay, so guys, today's video is going to be a legal item focus. So if you don't know what an illegal item is, it's really simple. It's an item that you can't obtain in survival. So that can range from command blocks, spawners to, uh, I don't know, non-textured blocks and special items that are enchanted with a, a level of enchantment you can't have in a normal survival Minecraft. So I'm going to teach you how to get these, uh, well, the, the, the most, you know, common illegal items. So I don't know, knockback stick with level 255 knockback. I will show you how to get these items in single player at first, but don't worry. I'm going to tell you two ways to get them in any server you want and any SMP. So yeah, you need to stay till the end of the video. To get an illegal item, it's really simple. You are going to use the command because if I go ahead and go into my uh, inventory, which is right over here, if I go ahead and type command block, well, as you can see, it doesn't appear, it doesn't show up. So to do that, you're gonna go ahead and type slash give. So you're gonna give yourself at P. This is the nearest entity, so that's basically you, or you could just do uh, anything raging uh, over here or just uh, type your uh, name, I believe. No, it's basically, uh, uh, apparently you can't. Uh, yeah. Oh, yes, you can. Right over here. Oh, you don't need the at. Okay, I I'm done. Then you are going to type whatever block you want. So I want a command block. So I'm going to go ahead and type command. Then I'm going to press tab. And as you can see, we have a command block. That this is not useful because you can access them in creative, but you cannot access them in a survival. So that is useless. But what is really funny to have is a knockback stick level 255. You're going to see it's, it's way too funny. So to have that, guys, the command will be in the description. Don't worry, but I'm going to go ahead and paste it in over here. Now, that's not what I want. I just wanted to have the slash at the beginning. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Now, as you can see, we have the give over here, which is going to give us the item, the add P, which is me. And here is the stick. So that's basically the item we want, the enchantment, the idea of the enchantment, so knockback, and the level of the enchantment. Now, it goes up to 255, it's the max. If I go ahead and put 42,000, it's not, well, it's gonna work, but it's still going to be 255. So let's go ahead and enter that, and as you can see, we have a stick. I mean, right now it's pretty dumb, but really, it's awesome. Look, I'm gonna go ahead and grab, I don't know, a little cow. Let's go ahead and try, whoa, what, what did I just do? Why, why did I do that? Okay, cow. Let's go ahead and grab a cap. If I go ahead and tap with this stick, boom, disappears. L look at that. It disappeared over there. If I go ahead and tap through this mountain, look at that. <laughs> look at that distance he just traveled in a millisecond. That if I go ahead and put a bunch of cows, bro, look at that. <laughs> They're all in that hole. Oh, wait, no, they escaped because there's a giant hole over here. Bro, that's so funny. <laughs> Yeah, you want illegal items. So I'm going to explain how to have the illegal items in any Minecraft server that you wish. But guys, before I start saying this, I want to do a quick disclaimer. This is a video that is for educational purposes only, okay? I don't want you to reproduce these stuff on any servers where you don't have the authorizations or uh, anything like that. If the persons on the server didn't ask you or didn't let you do it, uh, please don't do it because it can harm people and uh, really it's not legal. But anyways, let's start with the first one. So the first one, guys, I talked about it in another video. It's called social engineering. So if you don't know what social engineering is, well, basically you have a video at the top right of your screen but basically social engineering is you are going to go ahead and find an owner, an admin, or someone that has a high rank on the server and is probably a, a slash op a person. When I say slash op, it's the command to have every commands on the server, but you are going to want to social engineer this person. So I'm going to do a quick role play of how this could work. So you're this person, you're me, and you're gonna go ahead and go to that horse, I don't know, which is an admin or whatever, and you're gonna say, hey man, I really 
love your server. I really love it. It's amazing. It's super cool. Uh, really, I, I love it. It's amazing. I, I, I don't know how people don't spawn every second on your server, man. Like, I, I mean, it's, it's amazing. It's amazing. Now, you basically want to be his best friend. You basically want him to trust you. And this could take a little bit of time because people are not going to trust you in one week. Okay, well, some people might. But if you want to have a good social engineered attack, you are going to have to uh, be a uh, really, really patient because, well, someone is going to have to give you the ops, okay? So uh, it could take a little while. But basically, the main goal here is for an admin or an operator or whatever, a, a moderator. But basically, the goal here is for an admin, a moderator, or I don't know, uh, a, the owner of the server. Dude, if you have, if you can, dude, if you can social engineer the owner, bro, you're an absolute goat. But anyways, uh, yeah, you're gonna want to social engineer him uh, till the point where he's gonna say, uh, hey man, uh, I need, I don't know, I need support, or maybe he doesn't need support, but you're like, hey man, if you need support, I'm here, I can be an admin. If you need people uh, to make your server uh, safer, I'm here. But anyways, uh, yeah, uh, I I'm the best. Uh, I have a lot of experience. You don't, but he doesn't have to verify that. And uh, yeah, I'm really, really, really keen on just, you know, <sighs> making this server level, up, you know, all that bullshit. And maybe he's gonna say, hey man, you know what? Yeah, you're, you're right. I need a moderator. I need an admin. You know what? I'm gonna put you a master admin. You're gonna have all the ops. Boom. You have access to the servers and you can just go ahead and introduce a bunch of illegal items and well, you've done it. Okay guys, so the second option, the second way to uh, get any illegal items on a Minecraft server is really hard. I mean, social engineering is really hard, but really, right with this option, you could basically have your illegal items in one Day. It could be possible. I, I, I'm not saying it will happen. It could be possible, okay? Because there's still a little bit of social engineering. If you know how to code, if you know how to program, this is for you. Now, again, guys, this is illegal. It's hacking. So don't play with it, okay? But basically, you are going to build a program that is called a plugin. So if you don't know what a plugin is, well, it's sort of a mod for servers. It doesn't necessarily have to be on Minecraft. There are a lot of plugins uh, for WordPress, for other servers, for websites for a lot of stuff not only for minecraft but basically minecraft servers have plugins and what you can do is that certain servers uh, you know you need money for servers to run because well you have to pay electricity bills you have to pay uh, more ram or slots because if you have a lot of people on your server well you need to upgrade the hardware so it costs a little bit of money to run a server and because it costs a little bit of money some people or some server owners don't really want you know to pay uh, 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 you know, plugins, even though they have to because plugins are here for their security and for their server to run better. So what you're gonna go and do is do a program of a plugin, whatever you want. It could be, I don't know, a sort of a, I don't know, a high pixel plugin where you have, I don't know, uh, particles, uh, music, or things like that. Just build a plugin for the server. The thing is, you are going to do what is called a Trojan attack. So basically, a Trojan attack is you are going to give the owner owner a file which is going to be the plugin but in this file there is another application which is going to be a backdoor so basically you're going to have all the code for the plugin which has to work you are going to put a line or i don't know part of code that allows you to get access to the server because when you build a plugin you're basically going to talk with the files on the server so if you go ahead and create a certain i don't know a certain program that can communicate with the server and let you access to that server. Well, if you have access to the server, you don't need to be admin or moderator because you're, you're basically backdoored it. If you don't know what a backdoor is, it's basically, you know, you have your house and you have the front door where everybody comes through, you know, you're, when you invite people over, you know, they come through your front door and you have your back door that where you can enter from, but it's pretty ugly and you don't want people to enter by that because, you know, it's not really cool. So uh, yeah, basically that's a backdoor. I mean, it's, 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 it's basically a backdoor. It's a door that at the back but basically once you backdoor the server you can enter whatever code you want and whatever command you want like this command for an enchanted stick level 255 knockback and there you go you just introduced illegal 
items. Now guys, again, it's really hard to introduce illegal items in server because if it was easy, everyone would have illegal items on their servers and it would be horrible. And that's why there are plugins to secure them. And basically, if you want to backdoor a server, you are going to have to put the effort in it and you're going to have to work. And uh, again, this is for educational purposes only. Do not backdoor the server. When I'm saying you're going to have to work and stuff, it's imagine you have a friend and he wants you to backdoor his server to prove your skills you've been saying to him uh, every day in school. And he's like, you know what? I'm not going to give you any documents. I'm not going to give you any off, but you're going to have to backdoor me. But uh, don't do it on a server where you are not authorized because that's bad and illegal. Anyways, guys, I hope you liked this video. If you did, please consider subscribing, leaving a like and a comment. Again, thank you so much for 500 subscribers, guys. It's crazy. You guys are amazing. But uh, yeah, if you want to ask me questions, I have my Discord that will be linked into the description. And yeah, thanks for watching, guys. My name is Baos, offline.